This game has a fantastic soundtrack. Uh, it's not from the movie, I should mention this. Actually, uh, I've heard the soundtrack to the movie. The library actually has a copy of it. I need to listen to it again. This, game, this music is not used music from the, from the movie. As good as that soundtrack is, this is arguably better, although it's, it's, basically, it's basically from a music library. So worth noting there. Starting out here in the dragon's den, so we can train my dragon. We just started out here. The color of your dragon's bar informs you about your dragon condition. Excellent is blue, green is good, yellow is average, red is poor. It's pretty obvious. Healthy dragon starts every fight with additional life points. That's why it is very important to take care of yours. I can't skip this, by the way. In passing, I should mention this game was apparently uh, developed in French. I don't know how to pronounce this. Etrange, I don't have no idea how to pronounce their name. I'm Cajun, but I don't speak French. <laughs> uh, let's see, the dragon's bar level depends on five states. The bar is empty over time and after a fight or a training. For now, your dragon's labor is average, but we'll increase it a bit by letting him sleep. Once back on the dragon screen, press triangle to make the selected dragon sleep. Right down there on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you can see the sleep icon, and I will let my deadly, my deadly matter sleep. The rest of the bar will increase until your dragon awakes. When the dragon is sleeping, you can't take care of him, but you can take care of other dragons or collect some items on the island. They're going to speed this up, though. The dragon will wake when he's fully rested. You can wake him by pressing triangle. For now, let's let your dragon sleep to the rest bar. Yes, we're going to let him, they're going to let him be for now. And I guess it's a he, because that's what the game calls him. Of course. Uh, Samus Aaron was called a he in the manual, we're not going to talk about that. In the Metroid manual for US, but anyway. Because you see, the dragon's still not feeling well, press X when the dragon's portrait is highlighted to get into its lair. So we'll press X, this is the only dragon we can select, we can select at this point. Items are organized into four categories, each of these is linked to a specific bar. Again, I can't skip this. Food items increase the food bar, they're in red. The green plants increase the heal bar that's right there on the green side of the inventory screen. Yellow mineral items increase the mood bar. And blue treasure items increase the trust bar. So all of those items are color coordinated. Press X. Now, use all the items in your inventory to fill the bars up. After that, your dragon's bar should have changed color. The game's going to kind of show you a quick explanation. But then we're going to end up doing this ourselves anyway, so... <laughs> Okay. We'll just let this play out. So, these are the reds, greens, blues, and yellows. So yellows are weakest one, so we'll take this magnesium to increase our mood. So you can see that orange bar there on the top left hand, top right hand corner of the screen is increasing slowly. But at least it's going up. So we won't be able to fill it up, we'll be able to increase the orange bar to increase its mood. Okay, uh, next, well, food's pretty low, so we'll increase that one. Chicken, increase, the, increase your food meter by 10. So the game just uses bars, it doesn't use numbers, so that's kind of annoying, but that's okay. It serves its purpose. Uh, next lowest one is blue, so we'll increase, use sulfur to increase trust. Wouldn't be my first choice. <laughs> Rotten eggs, increase your Increase trust, really. Well done, your dragon is now in good shape. Use L or R to scroll the menus and become the best dragon trainer, like no one ever was. Let's uh, keep increasing our meter, shall we? May weed increase healing. Not Mary Jane weed, but Mary weed. All right, so I guess we're good enough. We're gonna get back up. L1 and R1. Customization panel, you can change the look of your dragon. We don't care, or at least I don't care about that crap. Of course, I can't skip this now that I've started on this. <laughs> Automatically playing pre-rendered cutscene. That's supposed to be a tutorial mission that I'm not going to care about. It's too bad you can't skip the tutorial videos. I mean, that would make perfect sense, right? Change your skin's color. We're not going to come back here. We're never going to come back here ever again. Recipe book. We're not going to be able to do that yet. Our dragon's not level 2, so we can't do that yet, or this yet. Triangle for the free camera. Completely worthless. It's like Pokemon, I guess. Like the movie would. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> they turned it into a... They, t they translated the book into a Pokemon book. Although I guess the principle was it's kind of like a Pokemon book, only it's about dragons instead of Pokemon. Works for me.
As children's books go, as children's books go, it's, it's a pretty interesting idea. Alright, so we can bail. Leave the house. Feed dragons during wild fights to unlock them in arcade mode. I guess I'll show you that later. Arcade mode is basically just one-on-one -on -one fighting. It doesn't look all that interesting at all. It's like it's like a kid's version of Soul Calibur. Not a particularly good one either. But once we get it, once we show you the combat, it'll make more sense. That's the save spot right there. Actually, that's no, the house. Yeah, you can only save the game inside this house. Apparently, we just left the dragon's den, so we don't have to worry about that. Can I break these? I forget. Yeah. Press the triangle button to break those and gather loot. Uh, let's see, so I have to go to my inventory here, not there. How do I go to my inventory? Just a second. Triangle? No. Square, circle. Okay, so the R1 button? Okay, the R2 button's for the inventory, really? Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so R2's for the inventory, right? Those are my dragons. That's my inventory. So what did I get? I got a citalene, which increases mood. Woof. <laughs> Wouldn't have thought of that. Of course, it is a dragon. I guess that makes sense. Hydrazine! Found in the barrels of the village. Beware, deadly natters and gronkles don't like hydrazine. So I have a deadly natter. I don't want to give this to my dragon right now. Uh, magnesium. Well, my deadly natter likes magnesium, but monstrous nightmares don't. So I guess, yeah, so it depends on the kind of dragon you have. Okay. Sulfur. Hideous zipplebacks and gronkles don't like sulfur, but my... Deadly Matter does. Okay, so this is okay. R1. That's my one dragon. R1. Heal my dragon. Go back to Stoic. We'll get there in a second. Uh, square. Fighting Arena. We're not going to do that yet. We'll be in the Fighting Arena a bit later. Frame rate's not great here, but I can grab this for uh, food, I want to say. So the objective right now is to get to the training area, so I can show you how combat generally works. But it's more of a tutorial, really. This is going to be a short video that explains the basic basics, then we'll spend like half an hour making sense of the rest of this game. Okay, so we gathered all this. Can I, can I cut all this down? Apparently not. Can't pick it either, okay, so it's just fauna. Can't interact with that. You. This day, isn't it? Not interested. I want to say, uh, well, they, they didn't get Leonidas to play, um, you know, Ger they didn't get Gerard Butler to play the main, to, make the, to play the village chief. But I think they might have gotten, uh, what's his name, Craig Ferguson to play him. And we'll talk about the whole idea about hiring, you know, English actors to play Nords later, but <laughs> it's what Hollywood does, you know, it is. Grab a few more of these to see what we get. And we'll bust a few barrels in the meantime. Whoop, I grabbed that. No, nah, didn't grab it. These animation sequences are a bit long. It's kind of weird. There's got to be some big, some big to do about gathering items in the farm. Okay, well, I'm thinking about it. Uh, R2. And let's see what I get. Turnips. Okay, my dragon will eat those. Sage, my dragon will eat those. Sulfur, iron ore, increases trust. Okay. No, my dragon will eat that. Deli natters don't like copper ore. Okay, so now I know. So I'm learning. Okay, we don't need any more of those. That's bail. Okay, so we're going down. This is the training area down here. Those are the annoying kids. We'll get to them later. So this training area down here is going to take me to a place that will teach me the basics of one-on-one -on -one fighting, which I think is the most of what the game is. I don't know if there's, like, exploration or anything. I'll get to that later. Oh, wait, what's this? I'm pushing it. I'm mashing on the square button. And the... Her shoes seem to have clipped through the ground. That's okay. We got some loot. So let's see what's under here. We'll check out the inventory in a second see what we picked up. Uh, let's see, what do we get? Kerosene gel. Deadly Matters don't like that, so my dragon can't use that. But I can use ammonium. 
That looks like ammonia, actually, but anyway. Uh, that's ammonium. That's not ammonia, but anyway. Quartz. I can eat that. I can eat rubies, too. Again, I don't know what feeding your dragon iron ore and rubies does, but anyway. I'm just picking it up while it's here. It's a research stream. This is the training area. Uh, be careful your dragon gets tired when training. Afterward, go back to your house to take care of it, modify its appearance, and share out the characteristic, characteristic points one. Before we do that, hop over here. This leads to a bonus area, right? The wild zone. If you'll find other reagents to take care of your dragon, by searching through the place, you'll find a cave to play unlock challenges. Okay. Can't go there yet. Gated content. Well, bridge content, I guess. That's oh, so why I can't go in here yet? Oh, I was supposed to talk to what's his name. Gosh darn it. So I can't go in there yet. So won't let me do that yet. So I'm sorry I wasted your time. I gotta go back to that dude. Something about healing the dragon. I think he's up there in the farm area. Just a second. Yeah, as you can tell, the frame rate's not great. It never really gets above 25, I want to say. Maybe 26 at the PS3. I'm used to it by now. Just a second. Nice new boots. Yeah, that one. Where, where's, don't, don't I have a map of some kind? Apparently not. Square. Okay, you're, you're wasting my time. Where's the what you call it? By the way, who played uh, played this? Who played this lady in um? Was it Lily Sobieski? No, it was I forget her name. Because Lily Sobieski was oh, I think she was Joan of Arc in the CBS TV movie. And I think uh, she was in Moonlit Mile. I'll check that out. Carrots. I want to feed these to my dragon anyways. Whatever. I had to feed your dragon. Was I supposed to be talking to again? Yeah, that guy. What's the village chief? Let's talk to him anyway. What could it all mean? Yes. That's a King of Lamor reference. Nope, oh, see, okay. Healing ointment. So now what? So now I'm supposed to go down to the training area. I was going to be a short research stream anyway. Yep, so we're going to the training camp now. He doesn't actually take me there, he just says just, I'm going to point you in the general direction. And the first time I played this game, it took me half an hour to find this stupid cave, because I didn't even know he wanted me to go there. See, it's up there. Yeah, I, was, I guess I wasn't paying attention to the story. <laughs> so he's not going to take me there, he's going to tell me to walk there. At least he's not going to make me do a walk and talk. So we'll reach level 2. In fact, we'll finish the video by um, training our dragon up to level 2. Ray for you, rough nut. Well, see you around, butternut. So, uh, let's see. So we'll go into that cave. He's not gonna. He's not gonna tell us to go away, is he? R two. Yes, that's what that uh, icon is in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And I can eat these. Found in the village. They're grown, whatever. I don't know how quickly they respawn. We'll get to that. Near the training camp and in the wild zone, yeah. Yeah. Okay, found in the village. Okay, I, don't, I can't eat those. Mirror? Myrrh? Yeah. Dragon sense and myrrh, right? Anyway, I'm trying to remember my references and metaphors. Don't like copper ore, but I can eat these. Okay, so I got plenty of other stuff I can eat. We're going into the cave. Don't worry, we're not going to die. It's a training area. There will be a lot of unskippable cutscenes and tutorial videos, so fair warning. So hopefully this video will have all the information you need so you don't have, Well, actually, the game's going to force you to go through this stuff anyway, so pff, whatever. So we'll finish up the video with this combat, because it gets kind of grindy, actually. Okay, Daily Natter. Select. Complete the numerous melee trainings and learn devastating new combos to be more efficient during battle. We will not need the tutorial, trust me. Your opponent is invulnerable to all attacks. Actually, we probably have to go back. Yeah, let me. I'll do the tutorial here. It's a research video. I'll show you how I, I'll show you how I train. 
Ride your dragon. Ready? Let's learn how to ride our dragon. Use left and right to move your dragon to the left and right. Yes, like I said. Uh, discount Soul Calibur. Music sounds like Discount Soul Calibur too, but it's okay. I'm a good commander. And the characters keep saying those the same exclamations every, you know, every five seconds or so, but it kind of gets annoying. Okay, back, back. So I can't double tap forward, but I can double tap backward. Okay, I've done it if you see, that's good. Tap down, tap the left stick down, double tap down, or press R2 to evade to the right. Press L2 to evade to the left. Like that. So, L2. R2. So R2 right, L2 left. I guess that makes sense. Well, R2, L2 clockwise, R2 counterclockwise, I guess. Okay, tutorial two. Learn the basics. I thought that long red dragon was a wacky design. But they made them fierce, which I liked. In the movie, they made these dragons really fierce. Scary. Liked it. Push triangle to hit your opponent with heavy blows. There's a combo there, by the way. Triangle, triangle, square, triangle. Unleash combos by bashing on the... So we're just, just going to mash on the triangle and the square buttons. Try combos such as square, square, triangle, and quintuple, square. These dragon's combos that can be unlocked with training. Well, we can view our combos in the pause menu. We won't need to do that yet. Square, square, triangle. 30 FPS, by the way, so don't get too comfortable with this button mashing system I'm doing here. See? Square, square, triangle. I already did that. Square, triangle. Square, 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 triangle. That wasn't a five hit combo. Can't hit triangle after square. Blow fire with the R1 button. Hurry up. Hurry up, thank you. You can't say I didn't get a chance to read it. And I gain fire by hitting him, right? Yeah, I gain fire by hitting him. Yep, see? The dragon drops firestones every time you hit your opponent. Firestones fill up your dragon's fire bar. Continue. Hit your opponent to collect firestones and fill up your dragon's fire bar. We already did that, so let's do that. Gotta be full now. That was a fire finisher, I want to say. L1 to block your... Well, I'm gonna have to block in this game? What, are you kidding me? So I can't just hold back. <laughs> We're fine. Suck it. Suck it. Next. Finish tutorial two. Ow. <laughs> he took a cheap shot at me. Melee. So I have to use these combos. I can't use any other combos. Okay, so triangle, so triangle squares, then a square sandwich. So yeah, so I have to do this. Go block every other combo. See? Still counted though. Triangle, square, square, triangle. Again, it's very, there's a, there's a pretty long, there's a lot of lag in this. That's kind of disappointing. You're just kind of mashing on the buttons. To, to the to the uh, move you want comes out finally. You want more of the same? So it's not terribly. In fact, let me see if I can square triangle. Square square. What? It canceled it. We already beat it. Already beat the dragon anyway. So whatever. I'll press. The, I'll, I'll I'll announce the buttons that I'm pressing as I press them. Try square. Try okay. Yeah, I unlocked a bunch of stuff I won't need. See, I have to do this four times. You can see I can't unlock this until I do this four times. Does that make any sense whatsoever? So let's do it again. I mean, it's just training, right? Fight. Try square, square, square. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Try square, 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 square triangle. So I'm just mashing on the square button. 
It's very forgiving in terms of the button timing. Try, square, square, square. That was easy. Try, square, square. Whoops, I missed. Try, square, square. Okay, that, was a, that was a really bad slowdown there. Let's see if I can put my uh, controller up to the mic so you can hear how quickly I'm mashing these buttons. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ready? Fight. Try. Square, square, square. Okay. Try. Square. Square. Try. Okay. Let's see. Try. Square. 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 Mash on the square button. <laughs> Pretty easy. Try. Square. 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 Try. So you saw me press it an extra time, the game didn't recognize it right away, so that's kind of annoying. And we finally killed the dragon. Okay, again, this is easy mode, so don't worry about that. Okay, one more time then, right? See, so they give you some idea about the progression, how the progression works in this game, which is really kind of annoying. Square. Hundred hand slap. <laughs> okay, watch the timing. Square. Now triangle. So I was mashing on the square button like eight or nine times before it recognized that second square hit. It's weird. Like between the second and third button input, I mashed square button like eight times. <laughs> so that gives you some idea about how bad the delay is in recognizing these combos. Square. Triangle. Triangle. I guess this won't be on the ranking of fighters. <laughs> Giant bombs thing. So we're done with that now, so what do we do? What do we get? Okay, so now we can unlock... Okay, now we have to finish the first step of the previous training and win this. So we have to win the tournament. Bah! Well, at least I'm level 4, but I have to train. I have to go home. Beat the fire? Yeah, I can do the fire trainings now. Okay, might as well do that. Should have done this earlier. R1. I missed. Get closer. Hit me. Triangle. See if we have the R1. Triangle. Square. 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 So I'm just building up my meter. That I can press the R1 button to attack him. Now I have a full fire meter. All this training will pay off in now he's down. Alright, so I have to do that three more times? Seriously? I mean, how much reinforcement could I possibly need? This is the blast you'll remember. Complete the first step of the previous training and win the snout light turn. So I got to do that, okay. So I'll do one more training. We're just starting to get the idea, right? So I guess I can leave here and then go back to my house and feed my dragon. How to feed your dragon. Okay. R1. Darn it. How about one of these? No, that's no good. R1. Yeah, I charged it for a little bit. Don't know if that made a difference, but there we go. And by the way, that's a button. That's a part of a combo. That fire you saw me do that just that the last time, that's part of a combo. Yeah, see, I'm pressing the square button, so it's triangle square, and that's a main, that's an auto fire combo. If I press R1, that's a real fire combo. Like that. Just keep that in mind, at least. Remember, they said training takes a lot out of you, so I might have to leave pretty soon. I think I have enough energy to do the final two bits of the training. I mean, that's, that's a lot, that's, that's the worthless, what's the point of that? It's such a worthless grind. Now I have to come back here. Okay, I don't want to save that. So I can load here. In fact, what I did do is, what I did do last time was I did all this training and I loaded a game save and that took me right back to the place where I can feed my dragon and such. 
See? Gets tired a little bit. Forget to take go into the dragon's house regularly to take care of it. So we'll do that here in the end of the video. Let's well, so customize your dragon if they just leveled up. And they have, I think they yeah, I think they're level four now. We don't need to customize our dragon. We don't care about that crap, at least I don't. Again, if the customizations actually gave you like buffs and debuffs and trade-offs, that might be interesting. You know, it's like, okay, if you want scale, like if you want like horns instead of like, like if you want horns on your head, maybe it uh, increases your attack power with, with, you know, maybe increases your attack power, but it decreases, maybe increases your defense, but decreases your stamina, you know, something like that. Maybe like a legitimate trade-off. Make us earn it. You know, maybe if you have spikes on your tail, certain attacks are stronger than other ones. Certain combos are stronger. So maybe you get more fire. I don't know. Whatever. You know, make it worth something. Dragon's Den. We already saw this cutscene. Okay, so we could put it to sleep eventually, but first things first. Uh, green. Yeah, what doesn't our dragon like? Oh, wait. Train dodge dragon hit harder and speed improves your dragon's quickness and the speed of its attacks. Stamina increases the number of life points. Okay, so I'll keep that in mind. Well, whatever. So when dragon carrying the level gains characteristic points. We have three of these, I want to say. Recipes for combinations of various ingredients from the same category. Oh, okay. This recipe feels specific more efficiently than usual items. Also increase. Oh, really? High quality recipes increase the bars of all your dragons at once. Because I got something going on here. Uh, what am I increasing or decreasing? How about a little bit of strength. Uh, a little bit of power. Don't need fire that much. Or stamina. R1. Talent tree. There's all the moves unlocked through training. But unlock that crap. Complete. Unlock this by completing melee 2. So I'm not going to be able to unlock that yet. So I unlocked these combos, so that's good. How about over here? Need melee three training. Fire three training. So basically I can only do these two combos. How about this? Recipe book. Okay, fine. Food. I don't have the, I don't have the ingredients for that. I guess I don't have a chicken. That's why. Whoop, wait. Back. Heal. Applies to one dragon. Well, I can't use the I can't use uh, one of these because my dragon doesn't like it. So now I have that one. Mood, Ember. Applies to one dragon. I'll take that. Next, Trust. Well, he doesn't like copper ore, but if I put it in an ornament, I guess he'll eat it. Yeah, I guess he'll take it. I don't. He doesn't need to rest either. Okay, so I guess I can just give him regular food now, huh? Yep. That'll do. So he's in good shape. So we're good. Alright, uh, we can bail. So that's the end of this video. We'll come back to this later. But I at least want to go over the basics. Let's see what else gets unlocked before we end this. So yeah, that com I hope I don't have to do much combat. It looks boring as crap. And I gotta unlock combos, really? I mean, is that the way it's gonna work? 